My name is Nick da Davis. I'm the company representative for MSI Motherboards. Um, I'm here today to present you three different motherboards that you requested, a home, a business, and a gamer level motherboard. This is where I give my company background if I was doing that, but I'm not doing that. So you requested a home PC motherboard with some different requirements. And here's the requirements that you gave me. You said cost should be the primary factor. You wanted integrated audio, video, and LAN. <clears throat> with cost being a primary factor, I went out and used PC Parts Picker to find the least expensive MSR I motherboard that had these things. This is the screenshot from there. I found it for $49.99 on Newegg. So that is the least expensive motherboard that I'm going to present to you today. So that motherboard is the MSI A320M A Pro motherboard. $49.99 on Newegg. By the way, this is a working link, but I'm going to go to the link later to show you the price on Newegg. But this is a picture of this, this motherboard. And I decided to grab uh, the Newegg review rating. 20 people have reviewed it, and it's got four eggs. Most of them are giving it four, five eggs. And I'll tell you why uh, during this one. But again, you asked for the least expensive one. So today, for this motherboard, I'm going to go over uh, these five items here that I'm going to have separate information on. The first thing is the form factor. This is a micro ATX motherboard. So this is what it looks like. It's very small. It's very compact. It will fit in any ATX case that you have, but that's the form factor of the motherboard. The next thing I want to go over, I'm going to go over the socket, the memory, the hard drives, integrated components, and the expansion cards. The next one is the socket. The socket is an AM4 socket. I'm giving you a little blow up of that. This is what the AM4 socket looks like. It is a PGA socket. It's a zip socket. There's the level arm there. The AM, this AM4 socket supports first, second, and third generation. AMD Ryzen processors, and they can be the processor with the Radon Vega graphics card. The second generation ones can also have the Gen AMD Ryzen graphics card. This is a lot of information. Here's the deal. Right there is a link to the supported CPUs, and that list is extensive. It's right on our website. It says every single CPU that we support. You can see there's over 10 pages of them. And if you want to know a specific CPU, you can just put it in the search bar right here and hit enter, and it'll say which one of those it supports. I wanted to point that out to show you how easy it is to find out which ones. But here's the thing. It supports them all, basically. Of the ones that it supports, if you were to look on Passmark for the fastest AM4 CPUs, this is all the AM4 CPUs, and it does support the fastest three. It also supports the least expensive one, if that's what you were looking for for this motherboard. And this is, this just so you know, and I've got a little uh, footnote down here, this is the Passmark page for this uh, particular socket, and this is, the screen capture of that page I just showed you from MSI, from our website, showing that it uses all those. So it's AM4, but basically it takes them all. There's almost no AM4 uh, CPU that will not work on this oops, particular card. And I did not mean to click on that. I apologize. Oh, I, I did add this as a link. If you wanted to see where this came from, um, the Passmark site, I basically just selected the AM4 uh, up here. Uh, right there, and then it lists all the AM4 sockets, and I went through a majority of these to make sure that they all worked for what you would want to have on this particular one. The next thing you ask about was memory. It takes DDR4 memory. It only has two slots. There's a zoom into the slots, which is one of the reasons this wasn't rated as well, but again, you asked for the cheapest. This is our cheapest one. It has two DDR, DDR4 slots, supports up to 64 gig of RAM, so it takes 232. Just so you know, it has to have the most recent BIOS to take a 32 gig um, one. It only takes 16 with, with the older BIOSes, so you would have to update the BIOS if it doesn't have the updated BIOS when you get it. As far as memory that supports, besides DDR4, DDR4 it supports uh, DDR4 1866, 2150. 33 and 2400 natively. It also overclocked supports 2667, 2933, and 3200. 
As far as the architecture, it also supports dual channel, which you would want to do to get the fastest speed out of this motherboard. It supports non-error correcting code memory. Um, regular memory is non-error correcting code. Server memory is error correcting code. And it only supports error correcting code memory if it will go to non-ECC mode. I would not buy that. I would only buy regular memory for this motherboard. Again, I have a link right here to our website that lists every kind of memory we have gone through and we have tested almost every kind of memory. You can see there's more than 10 pages. We tested from different vendors and different speeds. So if you had a question on whether the memory you were looking at would work, you need to reference that. But in general, if it's DDR4 and fits into these speed ranges, it will work on our motherboard. As far as drive support, it's got the AMD uh, A320 chipset, which only lets it support four SATA ports. So it has four SATA, three or six gigabits per second ports. Those support RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 10 for hard drives, and it has no M.2 support on this motherboard. No M.2 on this motherboard. Again, you ask for the cheapest one. This is where they are. Um, they're not kind of all together on this motherboard. Zero, one, I'm sorry, one, two, three, and four. They're on the bottom right-hand corner of the motherboard. Um, that's where they're at. And then again, um, it supports these. Now, I didn't know what these were. I, looked, I, I had to look up what RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 10 was. So I just wanted to let you know what that means. Uh, basically, RAID 0 means you put in two drives and it splits the information across those two drives. They have to be identical drives, and it makes it work faster because it's writing the two drives at the same time. So that's what RAID 0 was. RAID 1 means you put in two drives, and it keeps the same thing on both drives, making it slower, but you always have a copy. So you, if a drive fails, you never lose anything. And RAID 10, which is also called RAID 1 plus 0, uses all four of the SATA ports at the same time. You have to have four identical drives in, and it not only splits it across the drives, it also duplicates it. So you've got a RAID 1 array and a RAID 1 array duplicated across so that it makes it, um, it has redundancy and speed together. But again, there's only four SATA ports, so you would be able to plug in nothing else can't have a DVD drive, can't have anything else on this, this computer if you were to use RAID 10. But I didn't know what that was, so I thought I should look that up and show you what, what RAID meant. As far as integrated components, you asked for onboard video, audio and LAN has all three of those. Onboard video, only with a supported CPU that has graphics on it. So when you choose your CPU, it has to say it has graphics in order for that to work. Audio is the Realtek ALC892 chipset for that. It does 7.1 channel audio. The LAN is the Realtek, Realtek 8111H. It supports LANs from 10, 100, and 1,000 megabits per second. And this is a picture of the rear I.O. panel showing you the audio, the LAN, and the video back here. It has a DVI port and an HDMI port on the back as far as those integrated components. I thought if I was going to show you the rear I.O. port, I should also let you know that there's also support inside for USB. Not only does it have these four USB 3.2 ports, it has two USB 2.0 ports, and it also has a USB port on the inside. In fact, it has two USB connectors on the inside that are USB 2.0. And and it has one that's USB 3.2. So that's the integrated components. As far as the expansion slots, I thought I'd go back to show you a big picture of the motherboard here. There's only two expansion slots on this motherboard because it's micro. So of the two expansion slots, it's got a PCIe 3.0 X16 that will hold any video card that you'd want to put in there. And it's got a PCIe X1 slot as well. This is one of the reasons it only got four A's. If you wanted to make this a gamer, you could, but you only have one uh, video card port and one other port on this one for expansion stuff. Because it's a micro, it doesn't have a lot of expansion capability 
uh, available. I thought I should show you the interior stuff too. It's got one connector on the motherboard for the CPU. That's right there. It's also got a, a fan connector, so you can put it on a rear fan. It's got a standard front panel audio connector for the front of your case. It's got a serial port connector that you could put an external serial port on. It's got the normal front panel connectors, uh, as well as it's got a chassis intrusion connector if you bought a case that you wanted to get an alarm uh, for that as well. So that's what's here on the motherboard. That's kind of other information about this motherboard. So this is a review. I went over the form factor, the socket, the memory, the hard drive, the integrated components, the expansion cards, and then this is my link to show that it's currently $49.99 brand new on Newegg. If this hadn't opened up, I have this image available that I can click on right there to show you as well that it was $49.99 if that had failed. Does anybody have questions on anything before I continue on on this motherboard? Just so you know, all these are links. So if you had a question about the socket, I could have clicked there and come right back to the socket information so I don't have to have it memorized. And this back button takes me back to that question slide. So if someone's asking me questions, I don't have to have it memorized. I can just go, oh, you have a question on the integrated components? Booyah, I'm right there. I can answer the question without, without having to pretend that I knew. I can go right there. And then the back question takes me right back here. And then, if nobody has questions, I click and go on to the business motherboard. I also wanted to show the work cited. I did the, the MSI site for this motherboard, as well as the new egg site for this motherboard, as well as Passmark, just where I got that chart, as well as the page where I learned about what RAID was. That's all on my MSI.